So, we're headed out to the course to play 18 holes. My first time in about a month, month and a half, where I'm gonna be able to get in a full 18 holes. I'm gonna record nine of those. I'm gonna record the back nine here at this course. Uh, it's a fairly short course, but it's a punishing, difficult course. And all the locals that play around here, they know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down there and also click the bell notification button, which is to the right of the subscribe button right down below this screen. Pretty difficult little par four. There's water down there to the left. I'm gonna set you guys back here behind me. Five iron. One nineteen. Little bit down below me. Water to carry. So short is of course dead. This green tilts severely back to front. Being back behind the pin is not an easy shot, but at least it's a shot. You're short, you're in the water. So I'm gonna hit a three quarter pitching wedge, see what happens. Yeah, it's safe. Just missed the green off to the right. Probably a little bit out of my fear of tugging it a little left. And Ended up shorter in the water, but uh, well struck. It's okay. I might have been aiming that way too. Sometimes I have a tendency to aim out to the right. So when you miss the green a little bit and you're just sitting off of the edge, kind of like this, I mean, you could chip that, and I probably will chip that. But if you put it and you're more comfortable doing that, it's not a big deal. Just a little fluff, soggy. Another tough par three. It's 190 yards. It goes down the hill, but the landing zone is sloped towards you. If you get on the back side of this green, you're screwed. If you're a little short, you're okay. So I'm playing a five iron from 190. Right edge, not bad. Insanely downhill and a ridge. So, yeah, good luck. a long green, long par three with an iron. I finally hit a green. I'm literally 22 feet away and I three stab it for a bogey. And when I tell you about this hole, you're gonna be like, man, that hole's not that bad. So it's a 520 yard par five, which a lot of people would say, that's not that bad of a hole. This is a crazy tight tee shot. You got a severe upslope that you're landing on 
And then your second shot, if you don't get past that hill, is blind. It's just a tough hole, man. OB right and the other fairway left with trees lining it. It's tough. I should also tell you this is the back nine. I've only hit one driver today so far. <laughs> so my confidence should be a little shaky. But I'm going to see if I can trick my brain mentally to just think solid contact and just poke it out there. why I end up leaving it out right because I duck hooked that one. It's going to be in the other fairway. So I didn't end up quite in the other fairway. I ended up in the other rough and I got all these trees to go through. I'm just going to have to take my medicine here and just punch out that way. Ah, I hit something. It's okay, it's out in the fairway. eighty three yards to the pin it's about eighty seven yards to the center I'm just going for the middle of the green with a fifty eight just three quarter I'm on some hard pan this is if I get clean contact I'll be thrilled Might be the best wedge I ever hit in my life. That's dead center contact. So this just goes to show you, I started at this hole terrible. I could have been really upset. I could have blown up. Instead, I said, all right, let's re-tee it and hit it and see what happens. Third shot was terrible. Fourth shot wasn't that great, but I stayed with it. After the way I started this hole, really, I mean, that's what you can expect. So, am I happy about that? No, <laughs> no, I'm not happy with that at all. But I am proud of myself for the six iron that I hit and then the wedge that I hit. And I hit a good putt there. So, you know, I can't have it all and I'm not a two handicapper. All right, so this is a 410 yard par four. Again, it bottlenecks, it gets really tight. A lot of these back nine holes are like that. They really punish you if you don't hit it well off the tee. I'll kind of show you here what I can, if you can see. That gets really tight down there. In an attempt to keep this one in the fairway, I'm gonna hit a four iron instead of a driver because the driver does not like me today. Right down to Pooper. I don't know what that was. Okay, that is, I don't know, brain farted on that last one, but now I've got about a 30 yard pitch. There's a branch right here in front of me. I have to either go under it or over it. If I go under it, I've got to try and get past a cart path and some bumps and a false front up to the green, and then if it goes too far, it's off into oblivion. Normally, I'd try and play a lower shot here, but in this case, I think the safer shot is actually for me to go over that branch with a little bit of loft and just try and get it somewhere on the green. So that's what we're going for. So it's a bit deep, but it's on the green I'm putting. Man. I tell you, my ball striking has been all over the map today. Sometimes I'm hitting it great, and other times I'm not. It's 
probably because I'm trying to make these swing changes and sometimes they're being integrated into my swing and other times they're not. Thrilled with that, that's a par save. 330 yard par four, tight again, hitting the four iron. Wheel struck. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot to press record on that last shot, but I missed the green. So, you know, the usual. What the hell was that? So, hit a tree branch and left with this. Well, it's on the green. That was a terrible putt. Bogey. Now, a lot of people sleep on this course because it's only 6,000 and some odd yards. Um, but here's what they don't understand. All of the greens out here are relatively small. There's a couple that are decent size, but for the most part, they're small. And they're what we call here in the south, turtleback greens. Because they shape kind of like a turtle's back. So, you have to hit the middle to stay on or else you're going off. There's also a bunch of tight holes where you got these tee shots. Check out this tee shot. Let me see if I can get it in the background here. Now I'm way back here on a shelf. This is a 370 yard par four. I got this chute right here. Then it goes down and bears off to the left. There's water all down the left side in the form of a creek. There's a big hill and a bunch of trees out on the right. You gotta be accurate here. So I'm going to hit a four iron off this tee, which is my normal play, because it's 370. That should leave me like a seven iron or something in. But I'm also going to try and hit a driver here and just see what happens. But I can tell you, my driver has been crap today. I've only hit like two drivers, and I didn't like either one of them. All right, four iron first. Okay, so both of those shots I blocked out to the right, or maybe I was aiming right. I'll check this video and see. The driver was struck well, finally. It flew over those trees. I should be up on top of the hill having to hit back past those trees to come all the way down to a green that's probably 30 feet below me. And the four iron, I think, went down there and clipped a tree. So my four iron's getting a little used today. I clipped a tree that's right over here to the right. It's a big cedar tree. I got all these branches and all these trees. I'm 175 out. I could try and play some big sweeping cut or whatever and try and slice it back in. I'm just going to punch down with a four iron. Try and leave myself maybe a 40 or 50 yard pitch. That's it. So I went up there and grabbed that drive. 
Um, it was behind the trees way up here. I would have had a big giant tree to go over. I struck it well, but you know, it certainly didn't leave me in a better position than I was. And it's a lot more risky. It could have been a lot worse. But I did manage to find another golf ball while I was up there at the top. As Rick Shields would say, it's a Nike. Well, I think I pussified that one. Man, so not a very good day. Uh, I admit I have not played a full round of golf in probably about a month, month and a half, something like that. Uh, I've just been hitting the range a little more often. And seeing as how I've been working on some swing changes, I think they're creeping into my game a little bit, messing with my head, a little bit of a, an unfamiliar feeling. So I shot 85 today. That is about four and a half strokes over my handicap. It was just poor ball striking today. I had good plans. I had good conservative strategy. Um, I played safe. I played smart. It was just a serious lack of execution. And some days are like that. You know, you can, you can have the best plans. And if you can't pull off something in the general vicinity, of what it is you're trying to accomplish as far as a shot goes. Man, you're just, you're just gonna have a rough day. You're gonna be scrambling a lot. You're gonna be punching out of trees. I was doing that all day. My scrambling wasn't too bad. I mean, I only hit three greens all day. The greens are small out here, yes. They're harder to hit out here, yes. But, you know, I don't have any excuses. I hit six out of 14, which is almost 50%. I'll take that. A lot of tight fairways out here. Uh, a lot of weird bounces you get. Of course, it's not in the greatest of shape. So, you know, again, I had a bad scoring day, bad ball striking day. But I guess that's what I can expect when uh, I'm going through swing changes and and trying to, to mix things up a little bit rather than just going out and playing stock shots. <laughs> 